day welcome back so down here i want to be able to see my images once i click edit because this product has several images uh, maybe four so i want to be able to see them down here so let's come back here to our products.php in the view and let's look for edit product end that's the one there <coughs> excuse me but here we want to add a div just before the buttons that we will show our images okay so to do that is we're going to say um, div which actually reminds me uh, which reminds me here if i go to oh let me not scroll up if I go to, uh, what is this? The product class. So it turns out we don't, we don't actually need to add these images here because we don't want to resend the same data again. This data we can replace, but then what we will do is simply check if there's no image sent, then we leave the existing one but if there's information that was sent, then we replace the old one. So we don't actually need to know what the old image was in order to, to add a new one because it's different from text. Text, you need to see what was there so you can edit to help you edit. But because for files, we just click to select a new file. So there's no need to get old data. So we remove that from the products class there. And then we come back to products.php here. And in here, this is where we will put all our, uh, this is where we'll put all our data here. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, actually, my bad. This is, yeah, no, that was bad judgment on my part. Sorry, put it back, put it back, please. Sorry about that. So what we will need, I forgot that uh, we have to update this section in real time. So, sorry. So let's give it an ID so we can update it. Now, like I had said previously, when you are creating these items and you want to use JavaScript to read from them, the proper way to do it is to use classes instead because you can use multiple classes. So here we're going to call the class JS. We all uh, it's just a better way to do things if you start the class name with JS. That way you know that this class name is only used to identify this item in JavaScript. So this one is going to be JS images like that. Maybe you can say something like uh, product images, something like so. Now the advantage is once uh, if you want to add a class that actually adds styles to this you can simply add one here you say something like um, product uh, images maybe we'll say edit product images something like this so this is one class this is another but we're using this class name just to identify this thing so i'll copy that and then i'll come down here to where we are editing show edit product right there and we have our info there which contains our images as well so what i want to do now is grab the that div so i will duplicate this one more time and then that div i am looking for is here but i will remove the hash and put the dot because i uh, i want you to find the class name so here we're going to say product images like that say product images input something like that now it's not dot value but dot inner html is going to be info dot image So that's image one and then there's image two and image three and so on but this doesn't look so much like an image so instead i will uh, 
do it this way. I will say image, uh, what I do here. I will say ing, like so, source, like this. And then I will do a plus sign, plus there, concatenate like that. And then I will say um, close like this. Now, there's another way uh, in JavaScript that you can concatenate all this without having to put these pluses here. And that is if you use the tilde key, which is the back backslash, this one, which is um, the back tick. I think that's what they call it, above your tab key. You put a back tick over there. Now, the advantage of a back tick is that you can put this on several lines like this, okay? which you can't do if you're using uh, these like this. If I try to move this to another line, it will cause an error, as you can see here, but the back tick helps with that. So if you use the back tick here and another back tick there, you don't even need to do these pluses. So instead of this plus sign here, I can replace this with brackets. Let me do this. These curly brackets like this. And then if I now put a dollar sign over here, like that, JavaScript will know that this is a variable. So this is a new way of doing things. You can do it this way if you want. This way it looks more uh, readable. So we'll add this there, but then we'll add two, three, and four as well. But this time we'll do a plus equal because we want to concatenate. So this will be image two, image three, image four. But these images need to be styled, so we will style them, but not from there, but from here. So we will use this edit product images as the styler. So what I will do is go up to anywhere where there are styles up here, like here. So I will style this class and uh, paste that there like this so let me see how this looks like without our styling so I refresh here and click on one of these items and as you can see we have uh, that thing there so now we can't find our images of course so let me go down here and I'm sure you know why that is and that's because we do we didn't put our root as usual is it root or asset folder so console.log we can remove there we don't need that what i'm looking for is the edit wait a minute wait a minute okay where are we collect data right here so here instead of uh, this i want to put some php code right there so in here i'll just do that php equals and do assets okay so that's probably where or is it root let's try assets first depending on where the images are so assets isn't it so it should be root i suppose refresh okay so root it is it's working just fine okay so now what we need is to style these images because they are way too big so let's do that 